Okay, is this a real Salvador Ferragamo? Let's see what we got. That's a jewelry box. Is that a Saturday Night Live skit? Come on. Jimmy Fallon, Will Ferrell, maybe? Okay, that's wow. definitely gonna make our auction. This is like <laughs> golf. You don't need to be like you're, you're physically topped <laughs> or to do this kind of work. The hoarder cleaning out the hoarder's locker live. Right here. Already on. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we're in the unit. We meaning me. I'm in this unit right here. I'm a little deep in. Why? Because out there it's uh, really windy. And I don't like working in the wind, but it's also tough on the audio. So we're inside the unit. It's a little dark and dim, but you know what? That's okay because it doesn't damper the excitement I've got for going through more boxes with you guys. We're finding great stuff. In the last episode, we just found a couple rifles and uh, an old Erector set and, and tons of other stuff too. I mean, we're just finding lots and lots of stuff. So if you're um, new to the channel, this is a unit, and if you haven't seen the last couple videos, this unit I bought for 50 bucks. It's a 10 foot wide, 20 foot deep, tons of dust, tons of cobwebs. It's been sitting for a long time. They think the owner passed away, but a fantastic locker like this, why did I get it for 50 bucks? This is what's really interesting. No one showed up for the auctions. Me and my wife, Jana, were the only ones, and uh, that rarely, rarely happens, okay? Like today, this morning, I went to an auction, there was like 20 people there. Prices are going crazy. This one, no one showed up. You gotta go to the auctions, guys. You can't miss them because you never know what's gonna happen, and you have to be patient. Don't overspend on lockers because a good deal will come up to those who wait. All right, we're gonna get started, but you know what? If you're new to the channel, this is what we do. We buy lockers at auction, just like on TV. We go through it and we show you what we find. We take you along for the adventure, and I think that we have a lot of fun doing it. All right, you be the judge. We're about to get started, let's go. All right, you know what? It's a little tight quarters in here, but I think this is a good angle. We're gonna, we'll see about that. I'm gonna open this box right here, and let's go through it together. What do we got? So this guy was a big Raiders fan. I see black clothes, that's what I think. Maybe some Raiders. Uh, that's just a regular clothes. I'm finding good, pretty good stuff. Like, his clothes were, like, look at this. NFL tags, never worn. And that's a lady shirt, that's pretty nice, Raiders. Or her, it says. <laughs> that's a nice piece. 1588 brand new, not terribly expensive, but yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So, if you're going to find clothes, finding NFL type stuff is... Oh gosh, this is another good one. Raiders, extra large. Let's see on this one. Dad, number one. Ooh, maybe I take that home. You know what, let me back this up a little bit. Boom, there we go. Alright, now you can see a little better. Dad, number one. Raiders, maybe I'll bring that home and embarrass my kids. Faded Glory is like Walmart or something. Uh, not a big deal, but it is brand new. Tags. It's a couple bucks at the flea market. And that's where we'll be taking this uh, this stuff here. Uh, see? All right. We don't go through too many clothes. Because <laughs> it's boring. That's some plastic bags here. Okay. Brand new dress shirt. Van Houston. We got some other stuff in here. Too. Oh, yeah, some more dress shirts. Yeah. Van Houston. He liked Van Houston. I'm going to reach at the bottom here. I'm finding more dress shirts here. Very new dress shirts. This is good stuff, man. This this will sell at the flea market. Very, very easy. Okay. Boom. Okay. Here we go. Got some more scarves and belts and stuff. Huh. Got some small feet. We got some handbags. I'd definitely rather have handbags than shoes. Handbags will sell. Handbags will sell. I don't even know if this one's been used. Salvador Ferragamo. Heck yes. Okay, is this a real Salvador Ferragamo? Because I found a bunch of fake purses so far. But this does feel nice. No, guys, this feels like leather. 
This could be a Ferragamo purse. I found a Ferragamo purse before. I sold the thing, I think, for 200 bucks. I bought that locker for a dollar. That was kind of funny. But, um, all right, I don't know. I'm going to take that home and let my wife look at it. She's a little better judge of it than I am. This is kind of nice, though. Scala. Hmm. It's clean, too. That's a nice-looking purse right there. Reaching a bag of bags it sounds funny but you can almost like close your eyes and tell what what's nice you know these all shoes all shoes let's go through this one here it says raider stuff right here uh, you know i like my raider stuff let's see what it is that's funny a little construction helmet raiders a little gimmicky rock and roll hall of fame and museum it's a stamp collection Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, we got a Oakland Raiders clock from a license plate. It's funny, I think I found one of those before. Tower of Power, Oakland, California. This is a uh, bumper sticker that's interesting. Raiders Drive. Howie Long. Rich Gannon. That's actually pretty cool right there. Golf balls. I see at least one sign. Looks like Ryan Bagley. You guys know who that is? This is looking pretty interesting, this box. What is this? It's some kind of a picture box or something. Oh, wow. Look at this. A whole bunch of Raiders pins. Look at that. That's interesting. This guy liked his Raiders, and he liked to collect stuff. And here we have a collection of pins. I, I like that. That's actually really, really neat. Okay, we're going to put that aside, too. This locker's been fun, you guys. If you haven't been with me since the beginning on this one, um, this has been a great locker. 50 bucks I spent. It's incredible. This never happens, really. I mean, it does happen, but it's very, very rare. There's a bottle of wine. Raider fans are great. Signed by number 44. Someone is number 44. Legends Cabernet Sauvignon. 2002 Blue Sky. I guess some little... Piggy here. We've got some football cards here. That's good. We've been selling football cards like crazy. The other locker I got's been a sports card treasure trove. There's been so many. So many. Oh look at that saber tooth. Marvel character right there. And then look at this guy. Huh. It's interesting. I just like things that are different, you know, unique. Another pin collection, pin, P-I-N. There's a bunch of them. And, uh, yeah, this box is beautiful. The guy did a nice job putting this stuff together, making it presentable. It says right there, commemorative pin set, limited edition, 2650 of 5,000. Rene Castro, 2009. This is interesting because in one of the earlier episodes, I found a big picture. It's a pen, pen illustration. It was an ink drawing like this, and I think that was the same artist, Rene Castro, 09. I think the other one's 08 or something, but this has got to be put aside. I don't know this artist. I got, I didn't research it yet, but I got. I have to. This might be worth something. Okay, another box. Let's go into this. Let's see what we got. That's a jewelry box, right? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh my goodness, look at this. I see lots of, I see a jewelry box. <laughs> There's stuff in it. And I see a bunch of other boxes here too. I'm gonna have to do this out on the table. I don't wanna drop any jewelry over here. This, I don't wanna lose anything good. Okay, it is, as soon as I step outside, there's so much wind. Um, so we're gonna do it in here. All right, I'm gonna set it up right here. Just I just wanna show you guys where we're filming, if you're curious. Um, that's where I'm going to film right here. I'm going to film those jewelry boxes, but also give you a look at where we're at. These right here, I've gone through and I'm starting to make another wall here. All this, I got to go through all of this. I got to go through all the way up to here. Um, then everything here over I've gone through. I don't know guys. I, I think I'm not even halfway through this thing. And this is day four. The first day being when we bought it and went through one single box. This is day four here. 
and uh, I spent all yesterday, and I'm spending a lot of hours here today. This is taking a lot of time. All right, well, anyways, that's enough of that. Let's get to some unboxings. Okay, let's get to this first. Okay. <laughs> Nothing there. Ooh, there's a lot here, though. Ooh, moly. Do you see that? Okay. Okay, now we got something. Okay, there's some, uh, there's some little uh, bags, too. They're almost like they were going to sell it or something. I don't know. Or just, you know what? No, actually, I take that back. They were probably just going to organize it. That's the type of people they were. They were very organized. They had a label maker. They put labels on boxes. Um, look, they got two of these. One in gold, one in silver. A lot of earrings. So, so far we haven't found really any precious metal other than maybe a little bit of um, silver. Let's hoping that was gold for a second. And it might be. We'll look at it closer. We'll update you guys if we find some. But it's okay. Even that's nothing. It sits right there. But, hmm. Has some potential, but I don't think it's anything really. There's a lot of stuff in here, but anyways, what I was saying is, even though it's not precious, we're finding good jewelry. We're finding a lot of costume jewelry, good stuff, vintage, and let's find some silly stuff too. Like look at this bike chain. It is a bike chain bracelet. It really is a bracelet, isn't it? It's actually kind of cool. Um, but all this kind of stuff we will lot up and put on our auction. Not this. It's just a little souvenir, chintzy thing. But all the earrings and stuff, this will all get lotted up. And you'll see those on our Monday night auctions. And uh, we'll, we'll match it all up. We'll display it nice. It's a lot of fun. There's some good deals to be had. Let's see in here. Eh, nothing. All right. Still good fun. Okay, that wasn't it for this box, though, was it? That was just the jewelry box to pull out the top. Auntie Phoebe. Yeah, what you got for us, Auntie Phoebe? They wrapped everything up. They taped it. They did such a good job of packing it away, but I just have to ask myself why, you know? Why pack it all away so neatly? I mean, they never enjoyed it again. I think the guy passed away. And, uh, I don't know. Yep, oh, never mind. That's purse to photos. Purse Wahlborg. Made in China. Okay, we'll sell that. It says Hammy Crystal by Ariba's Brothers. Oh, it's Disneyland Shark Glass, but that's his last name. Just a lot of little bags. These will all sell at the flea market. But not a lot of value there. Okay, Auntie Amelia. Yeah, oh boy, another picture. Okay. And Auntie Sally. What's this? Though? Got a shoebox. We've been finding some good stuff in shoe boxes. The shoe boxes have been a lot of fun so far. Let's not jinx it. Okay. Maybe I jinxed it. But we have had some really good shoe boxes. Alright. Yep, I jinxed it. Oh, yep. Alright. And. All right, we gotta look. I don't wanna look, but I gotta look. What is this? Is it what's on there? Oh, jeez. Oh, actually, it's a little, it's a little jewelry box, actually. And that is kind of nice. It takes back everything I said. Mm -mm, not good. All right, stuffed animals. It's a weird looking doll. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I'm getting a little sleepy. This is Buddy right there. I see something interesting in here. Oh, look, it's not taped up. Yay. Longer burger. Look at that. Longer burger baskets. Got a whole bunch of them. These, these used to be valuable and highly sought after. My wife used to collect them, actually, before I met her. I don't think they've held their value all that well. This is Longer Burger as well. This is actually probably the most Longer Burger I've ever found, and these actually all look in really good condition. I found one other Longer Burger basket already in this locker. I brought it home. Um, and I'll be bringing these home. We'll list them locally. I think the last time I had baskets, they were pretty decent. They sold them for like 10 bucks each locally. It's not a lot of money, but it might be 40 bucks right there. Okay. It's not the same box, promise. Give me that. 
more. Yeah, look at this one. This one's got a lid on it. It looks like it's in excellent condition too. No scratches or anything. So we got what three more, three more baskets. But what is this? Huh? I don't know what that is. Then a lid for another basket, I guess. It's good. I mean, it's good. It's good. All right, what's up, locker nuts? As you can see behind me, it's raining. What the heck? Two days ago, it was the sun was blasting down on me. I was getting sunburned and uh, just really hot. I mean, it was crazy. Yesterday, windy, overcast. Today, pfft, rain. So yeah, that makes it a little bit tricky. You see, I got my trailer ready to go. But yeah, rain and a flatbed trailer do not mix. So hey, here's what we're doing. I'm back at that unit. Um, I didn't even finish the, the video yesterday. Doing what I can is still dripping a little bit. It's starting to slow down. And when it does stop, it's supposed to be done for a few days. Hopefully that weatherman's right. But let's take a look at those records since they're right here in front and uh, see if we got anything good. All right, yeah, that's a unit after I packed it back full yesterday. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, obviously it's looking a lot better because there's all this area here and that table is not the best use of space when you have a unit this big that's full of boxes it is um it's deceiving how much stuff there is like when you have furniture in here it goes so much quicker boxes take a lot longer and i'm not complaining because this is a, this is a dream right here this is what we always always want to buy so i've got these three boxes of records here that i pulled out from inside there i meant to go through them yesterday let's start going through them and see what we got Christmas with Rita Ford's music bow boxes. Okay. Yeah, that's not magic of Christmas. This is not what we're hoping for. I'm just trying to get a, okay. A little better, Chicago. That's, that's a little better, isn't it? I think so. Okay, another Chicago, that's good. Chicago, Chicago, all right. Les McCann, all right. Are those his daughters? I think those might be his daughters. Is that a Saturday Night Live skit? Come on. Jimmy Fallon, Will Ferrell, maybe? All right, Isley Brothers, that's cool. Kenny Loggins, Alive. <laughs> Doobie Brothers, Eric Clapton. All right, we we'll got some good stuff here. What is this, is this John Lennon? It looks like John Lennon. It says Lennon Brands on the back. Give Peace a chance. It's John Lennon. Hmm. Imagine. Good. Ah, uh, Cheech and Chong. Oh, yes. Okay. This might be a keeper. I'm going to definitely have to listen to that. I love those guys. They're so funny. Steely Dan. Herbie Hancock. Jefferson Starship. I've had that one before. Red Octopus had that album before we sold it but this right here beach boys endless summer fantastic double album look at the playlist here surf and safari surfer girl catch a wave the warmth of the sun surfing usa i get around <laughs> this is like is this a hits album or is this just a great album beatles abbey road oh <laughs> i just realized my Tripod wasn't tight enough, so that the shot was slowly going down. Probably missed half the records I went through. You want to say hi? Hey there, Locker Nuts. We're live in the locker. And it's raining outside. So we're doing some rainy day unboxing. All right, this box says things to look through, things to look at. Ooh, I like that. I think that's an invitation. Oh, okay, there's some little bags. This is good for the flea market. Okay. Give people bags. There's some Ziplocs stuff here oh, man, this stuff takes forever to get through because this is why this locker takes so has taken so long so far because you got to go through all these little bags and boxes and they wrap everything up we got a little hammer it's nice uh -huh. okay we got some tools got some we call it channel lock. Tomorrow, easy. That's, that's actually really nice look at this arrow um staples this is good stuff sell that in a heartbeat at the flea market yeah this all sells really really good Ooh, sorter we don't have one of those do we sort and see no we don't do it because we go to cool. they didn't have coin star back when these things were popular 
People had to do it themselves. Let's see this Ooh. Hold on a sec. Things get a little more interesting right here. That's cool. It's leatherish. And uh, guys, we took the rec. We're gonna just take the records home and go through them there because we need a little bit more time on those. This is good. One of those multi-purpose tools. tools. Yeah. We'll put this in our knife lot. Next knife lot we have for the auctions. Ooh, Everyone's asking for knives. Everyone's looking for weapons. Okay, these are. I thought these were pens, and we found some really expensive pens, but these are pressure gauges. But look at that. He's got like three pressure gauges. This guy, everything he has like multiples of. Like, because one's not enough, you know? Sounds like my dad. He's got Seriously. A backup for a backup. Look at those Central beautifully points. wrapped. All wrapped up in a bag. Silliness. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> What's that? This is like, we're finding lots of little wood boxes, too. All right, what do you guys think's in here? Seeing the box, seeing what's in this box. What Let do you me, think's in I here? I think it's a game. Yeah, it feels like, yeah, it sounds like plasticky. Maybe it's money. Oh, that's a nice little kit. Yeah, little Zacto knives and some razor blades. Mm -hmm. That is nice. That'll sell. Awesome. Not big money. All right, we're off to another one. We're racing through the boxes today. Ooh, empty little boxes. Dang it. We don't want empty little boxes. Oh, at least you let us know, because I would be excited. That's heck of funny. It's like, who has ever said empty little boxes? No one. That's what it is, empty little boxes. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So this whole box is empty boxes. Well, that box said empty boxes. Okay, this, let's hope these aren't. Ooh. This is not. There's something in here. Ooh, I like the size of these boxes. Oh, yeah. wow, that's cute. Little glass box, Dean. That's cute. Is it? Mm -hmm. They're like little jewelry boxes. Mm -hmm. I want little jewelry. Forget the little jewelry boxes. Yeah, that's but that's cute. It's a little teacup. That's cool. Also. I think it's a ring dish. It's cute. It has a little pedestal. This a little cart jewelry box. That's the lid. Yeah. What's right. this little towel thing? Is that a, like a little rug? It's kind of cute. Probably like a placement. Hmm. That cool. is nice though. What do you say? That's really cool. What does that say? We're from Los Angeles. Imported by Henderson and Sons, made in Mexico. That's mm. cute. It is. Anyone ever heard of Henderson and Sons? Let us know. Okay, this one says miniature perfume bottles. Oh, oh, how cool. And that's what it is. So those are neat. If it's all like that, this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, I feel bigger ones in here. Um. <sighs> oh yes, those are gorgeous. That's wow. definitely gonna make our auction. This is this is cool. This is why I like this locker so much. This kind of stuff right here. This locker's been amazing. For fifty bucks, it's been super amazing. Um, Ooh, pretty. Yeah, this is definitely an auction lot right here. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Wow. These are actually. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Some of these might be worth some money. This is, yeah. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, this is. Really oh, nice. Goodness, these are gorge. Did they open this one? Um, no. Nope. Mm -hmm. They all start looking that. the same. But... No, they're all very pretty. Mm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these are cool. This is really cool. That's so look at that. Cute. That's so dainty. Oh my gosh, Check those are small. so pretty. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if anyone knows anything about these, this is the first time we found a collection like this, right? Perfume bottles, yeah. This many, yeah. So if you guys know anything, comment below. If you've seen one similar to that, or if you know anything about the brand, we'd love to hear. Oh, how cute is that? It's a little slipper. That's neat. Remember I told you I found a big box of a whole bunch of perfumes? Mm-hmm. I saw more in there, too. I like their perfume. So apparently the guy was the only collector. His wife was a little bit of a collector yeah, too. Yeah, that's nice. <gasps> that yeah. one is gorgeous. Is it? I think the other ones. I don't know. The smaller, the I think the nicer. This one. Well, they're more green. dainty for sure. This is awesome. We'll definitely give everyone a detailed show of these on the auction. Yeah, we'll we'll take them all out and arrange them. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Be really nice. That's cool. That one's pretty too. Again, another jewel. That one's cute. That one's cute, that's too. Nice. 
it's so amazing because it's a box of what started out as empty boxes. And then here we have something really, I think, quite special. Oh, that one's darling. Oh, that one's different. I like that. Hmm. Assorted pins. We found a lot of pins, huh? The Disney pins are cool. Camille's oh. already stocking on them. Hopefully we have some Disney pins That's in here. That's what I'm hoping. Um, he had such a pin collection. He collected all kinds of stuff. Coca-Cola. Oh. Winnie the Pooh. That's Piglet. Piglet. Those are Disney. Oh, yeah. These Disney. are definitely Disney. Yep. Um, there's Tweety Birds. So that's Warner Brothers. Chevron, those cars. You remember they had oh, that? That was huge. Yeah. It's so funny because I remember when they were selling this, my mom worked for Chevron and she'd bring them home for the boys. There's Jurassic Park, Las Vegas, Planet, Planet Hollywood. Hollywood. That's funny. These are cool. This is will a, definitely auction off. It's an old Disneyland lanyard, mm -hmm. right? Is that years? lanyard? Mm -hmm. They just had 60 years, so, so it's or 62, so it's. And then here's the different kinds of pins. Oh, buttons, right? And we got buttons. Mm -hmm. Collected some buttons too. Keychains, yeah. And keychains. I mean, he collected keychains too. I found a ton of other keychains. That's cool. It's almost like you just wanted to add these. So we to can his do collection. a couple. So you guys can see all this stuff. We'll auction off some of it. Yeah, we'll be auctioning most of it off. Maybe the Disney we're going to keep just because our daughters are into that. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Well, next box. VHSs! Woo! What's this? Harmonica. Harmonica. 750. Owner. Yeah, when though? That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's super nice. We'll sell that. Sure. Tomorrow. People will buy that. Wow. That's impressive, honey. I have one in my car. I didn't I know you were so musically talented. Yeah, yeah, you didn't, did you? Well, I did. Okay, but this is the exciting thing. Is that exciting? It is exciting because it's small. It is, is kind of. No, really. Uh, what is it about harmonicas? They're cool. They're happy. They are. Yeah, it, it makes me think of John Popper, right, from Blues Traveler, which right. is the best harmonica player that I've seen. Do I know him? Blues Traveler? It sounds familiar. A cramp. Uh, yeah, he's got lots of his songs. This is from the 90s. But check this out. Okay, if I, for some reason, every time I pinch, I'm getting this cramp on my side. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but. You don't, this is like golf. You don't need to be like, you're, you're physically topped <laughs> or to do this kind of work. It is physically I'm handy, opening the harmonica box and I'm cramping. <laughs> I'm having severe cramps. Okay, but look, this is my point. This is another harmonica, right? Woo! This is another harmonica, right? Woo! The guy has a harmonica collection. The guy collects everything. He kind of did. Look at that. Marine band. These, these are, are not, cool. I don't think these are super expensive, nah. but um, to me, they're super exciting. But oh, oh, oh. no, no, this is for real. It's buck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta get a, a box. Where's this? Here he goes. He's amped up, people. Yeah, no. Oh, perfect. Plastic containers, they excite him. He loves organization. Well, I put that in a <laughs> Freaking cramp, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Buck. Come over here. I gotta twist the other way. I'm serious. Every time I'm twisting, it's like too this, dark. I'm like, cramp. It's too I dark. Let me do it and you film me. No, you don't even get excited by I'm this stuff. so amped. It's all fake. It's all fake. That's not true. Yes, it is. You don't get excited by harmonicas and knives. Come on. I love buck knives. That's good. Hey, I grew up with a knife collector. Oh, my goodness. That thing is freaking razor oh, sharp. Yeah, don't put that away, honey. It no, makes I'm me serious. Nervous. That guy has this sharpened big time. Okay, that's a beautiful knife. Heavy. That's going Monday night. <laughs> I think. Okay, there's th three more harmonicas. Four Ooh. harmonicas. Another knife. Dang. Oh, that's a cool knife. This is nice, too. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, Don't, it's razor sharp, Will too. you stop touching them? No. Do you want to get hurt? Oh, please. I haven't cut myself for the knife since I was like eight years old. Well, that's just something you don't want a chance. <laughs> what else we got? Oh. A knife. Italian. Italian. What does that say? Italian specialties. Ooh. I don't know what the other says. Ooh, it looks like a shaving knife. Doesn't it? It's pretty sharp. Okay. That's leather. What does that say? Buxton. Hmm. Genuine leather. Buxton, I've heard of that. 
Come on, I'm gonna find some more good stuff though. It's another harmonica. You think? Yeah. Blues harp. Honer. It's a it's a case. I don't. There's nothing in there. Mm. This one there is. Oh man, look at this. Maybe we'll lot them up as a harmonica lot. Maybe. That'd be kind of cool, huh? That sounds really nice. You hear it? Uh huh. I feel like dancing. I feel like that we should square nice. dance. This is good. I'll keep that. You do not. Harder. No. You don't get rid of a WD-40. Oh my gosh. So. Oh. Oh. Heck aren't, yeah. aren't those uh, kind of like expensive? Yeah. I don't know if they're expensive, but this is the third one I found. The last time I found, I made a big deal out of it, and I had people saying, "Hey, can I buy that from you?" Those let's are really them, cool. Yeah, a little lock. Let's put them there. I don't know if I sell this, but uh, this Why? will be my third set. Why wouldn't you sell them? Because I do like to keep a few things. Oh my gosh! Just a few. The hoarder cleaning out the hoarder's locker live, right here. I already are. This rain is not letting up. It's I'm going to flash out here. You guys, we're trying to load up for tomorrow to go to the flea market. And guess what? The rain ain't having it, people. Even. Those are cool. We yeah. you know someone that used to work for Nestle? Bob. Those are nice. Oh, They're look cool. at that, <laughs> What's that in there, honey? Uh, looks like we're getting down to the bottom, but we found one more multi-purpose tool. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, we like those. Oh. You can put that with those knives, huh? Yeah, this will go in the knife lot. Um, I just I've said it before, but you, you should always keep one of these in your glove box, your car, because it. I have one because you put it in my car. Yeah. What's this? Mm. That looks old. Maybe another cutter. Oh, what oh, is wait that? Wait a second. Dexter Matt cutter. I have no idea, but it's cool. Uh, we might have to look that up. Mm-hmm. That's a little different, isn't it? All right. The dude loved his boxes. Which Jack loves boxes. Oh, oh, a Dremel set? It's like a Dremel. It's rotary. a rotary. Yeah. It's a Nakoda. I don't know what that is. I sell that. Yeah. This book right here is a great book. This is like uh, the sequel to The Millionaire Next Door. This guy right here, Thomas Stanley. Um, oh, yeah, it says right here, The Millionaire Next Door. This is part two. But this is a great book for anyone who wants to understand what it takes to be rich. I'm not preaching it because <laughs> obviously... I'm not exactly rich if I'm doing this stinky job. But, you are rich. Uh, I'm rich at you heart. You do what you love. I'm rich in life. But I, uh, just to let you know, like, these guys studied affluent people all across the country, millionaires, and saw what their habits were, what their what they did, such as driving seven to eight-year-old uh, uh, luxury cars. They never bought it new. Things like that, over time, make you wealthy because you're not spending money. That's the whole key is saving, not spending. Awesome. Put it in the box. It's absolutely pouring now. All right. Got this little thing here. Another little office organizer. Little office we'll sell that here. tomorrow. That's funny. He's kept. Oh my gosh, the coronavirus is down there. See that? Uh oh, careful, guys. It's bottled. <laughs> yeah, don't open it. We're all getting infected. Vote for Pedro. Yeah, no, that's funny. That is funny. I wonder if Our Grace kids would... love that movie. I'm going to bring that home and give it to him. Yeah. He's saying. Uh, I found a t-shirt with Vote for Pedro on it. Should Trevor really treasure it. Mm. That's what our kids are, turkeys. Sure. Oh, what's this? Kids yeah, little kids, it. yeah. Little League. All right. Sweet. Hey there, Lock and Nuts. It's a cool, damp Saturday. And we are trying to bust through these boxes because we have got to get out of here. But we can't go any faster because we keep finding amazing things. Okay, so they these, really are, do. these are some cool glasses. They're brand Acrylic. new. Acrylic. Super cute. Do we need some glasses? And let's see what year these are. I mean, these look kind of 80s. Just ignore me. No, we don't. But these look kind of 80s, don't the, you think? Those will go in the vintage market then. Yeah, I think so, for sure. Yeah. Brass plated easel. And guess what? It's a brass plated easel. Oh, this, this actually looks pretty good in here. Not to spoil anything, but... Oh, it's a little uh, puppy or a kitty or a cow. Yeah. Oh, 
my gosh, what a cute okay, little next bunny. Box. What? I love bunnies. That's cute. That's you know how much I'm going to get for that in Stockton now that I have to go to Stockton Flea Market instead of the Good Flea Market? Probably two bucks. Thanks to Mother Nature. Got some wine goblets? Yep. Wine glasses? Wait. What is it? No, this is uh, Princess House. I yeah. should have known by the box and the number. That's what this yeah, is, Princess, Princess House. Whole set. Huh. We've had Princess House lots of times. Yeah, we actually have. It doesn't really sell that well. Sell. Even brand new like this in the box. Oh, yeah, we've had several brand new sets in the box. So, guys, this rain was supposed to be done already. Like, first they said it was going to be done a couple hours ago, and then it just 3 o'clock, and now it just pushed back to 5 o'clock, and the rain seems to be picking up. It's a real bummer for so us. So cute. What because is I'm, this? Oh, it's like a little... Uh, I, I am not sure what the... T you guys put in the comments if you know what these are, because this is like the third set that I found. This is Alameda, right? The first uh, wood one. Yeah, we could bring that to Alameda. It's so adorable. Is it for Saki or something? I don't know, but it's so cute. I found a couple other ones, and they were nice, too. All right, let's bring that to Alameda. Let's put that for the nicer market. <gasps> Ooh, a treasure. No, I thought it was a treasure chest. Uh, I thought that was a good box. Princess House. Princess House. I recognize this box. Yep. Mary Ingebright. Remember my other dusty locker I had? Yeah, you I had that had... cookie jar. Yeah. People said that was worth a lot of money. It's like 50 bucks, but oh, that's a lot of money. Oh, how cute. I love her stuff. Look how cute that is as a picture. Yeah, it is nice. Mm -hmm. We should probably bring that back and look it up and see if we list it. Oh, for sure. That's not a flea market, huh? No. So this box marked Vases Fragile. Mm -hmm. It's super cute. I don't want to take it all the way out because I don't want it to break. It looks like it's already broken. Where? You see the cracks? Oh, yeah. Turn, turn it around. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, mm. Flea market. Or it won't sell. It's another one? Yep. No, it's different. Yeah, it's little butterflies. Mm. Where's uh, that I don't know, honey. Oh, no, it's cost plus. Yep. Okay, flea market. Now, mm. this looks a little nicer. This is old, but I don't know. There's something else in there. It's like an angel. I like the bottom of this. Meh. Nah. Oh, what does it say? Cash Casa Casa Nova. Nova imports two of four thousand and twenty. Oh yeah. Hmm. First, I thought it was someone's initials on the bottom, like ceramics, but that's something different. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. All I know is they should have been movers in another life. Something else in there. Mary, you can go to the market. Um, here, open that. I think it's an like egg or something. Ooh, that's super okay, pretty. Okay, that's nice. That is an auction Take item. That, for the auction. that is uh, wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so this is another matching one for this Casa. We need to look it's these granite, up. right? Yeah, do we need to look these up? Man, I wish we collected stuff. I keep that. Yeah, that's I think right. we should look those up. Let's I put agree. them back in here. Um, is there more stuff in there? That one's cute. I was just like this. Yeah, it's pretty. It makes me think, where can we put that in our house? Please stop. I don't have makeup on. <laughs> I was trying to get your reaction, like, mad, angry, no, dismissive. No, I like it. Nope. Mm. Cool. Southwestern. Yeah, it could be Alameda. You know, they mm. like this whole '80s look again. Yeah. Okay. Let's let, let's leave it in here. I think this is an Alameda. So far, what's left? Good, because the fir first couple bases weren't very impressive. Hey, this is impressive. That would be cool for I, Alameda. I, this is just so cool because I think the egg shape is really hard to yeah. create. You know, not in nature, obviously, but. Um, Ooh. because it's not a round ball. That's kind of cool, right? That is very cool, actually. And it's signed. Four or five. Okay, I'm actually excited about that. This one's really cool. Four or five. That's nice. 
right? Yeah, that's Alameda. The Southwestern for sure. It's Alameda or that could go on our auction. Yeah, that's true. I like this a lot. Me too. It's turning into a good box. Let me just make sure there's nothing else of value in here. That's Is that pretty. wood? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty hot. That's, I'm not lying. That's what the heck? Cool. This is a great box all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. This rain totally screwed me up. Totally. I was planning on going to flea market tomorrow. It's not like a high end flea market, but it's not a low end flea market either. It's slightly higher. Maybe not even middle of the road. But, anyways, we got great stuff here, guys. This has been a great unit. I want to go to the market tomorrow. Maybe do a live lot of ton of stuff make some cash because i'm pretty cleaned out i've been buying so much stuff and haven't been selling at the market so whew, i'm out of breath because i just pushed everything in everything's getting wet my table my rack the chair i had a tarp over but everything's getting wet i'm getting wet i'm getting frustrated <sighs> change of plans so now i'm going to come tomorrow and load this up so i go to the market on two uh monday but the good news is I'm gonna be hopefully on time back at home so I can get on my friend's channel. Um, Oscar El Cubanasso is hosting Bad Boys Are Reselling, so it'll long be aired since you guys uh, watch this, but maybe you can go back and watch the replay. All right, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna be home in a little bit and get on that, and uh, hopefully you guys are there. But um, anyways, found more good stuff today. Perfume bottles harmonicas and knives were probably my highlights what was yours put in the comments below what you've uh, what you like you see come out of this in this episode ah thanks you guys for watching all right subscribe if you're new hit the notification bell and a thumbs up on your way out thanks so much for watching next video will be out soon hopefully and uh yeah rain will be done but until it is good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts look at this you guys I'm not even home yet, and we're just a few miles out from where we were, and it is dry and not raining and some blue skies. Isn't that a stinker? Boy. All right. Yep, that messed up our plans. Unfortunately, the locker we're going through is right in a wet spot.